Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back here. And today, we're going to be trying some Beast Hunter. Honestly, I wanted to play some form of a weird Hunter deck. I guess it's not too weird, but it's also pretty good right now. And I kind of wanted to mess around and try it out, play it to see how, how it feels. I know that I used to really like this deck. Uh, by use, I mean, like, six months ago. Um, I guess at this point, I was like, I should, oh my god, no, it's been like nine to eleven months. Jesus, that was a while ago. I, I used to like playing the, the bigger version of the deck, and I've tried the smaller version. It's been pretty fun uh, here and there. So I said, why not play it? Hopefully continue climbing with it. But before we jump into the game, actually, real quick, I want to point out something that I just uh, noticed. As you can see, we are currently in the Witchwood cards. And if I go to crafting and I go uh, missing premium and we go to shaman, I don't know how many of you guys knew about this, but there is a diamond shutter walk coming out and I need it. <laughs> um, there's It's the same thing with uh, Vargoth. I don't remember what set Vargoth is in, but I go wild and I search up diamond. And we go to neutral. There is Vargoth that they're also adding from Rise of Shadows. And Zilliax for all you mech players. Um, which is pretty dope. I hate the fact I missed out on this, but I also didn't I was never gonna be buying it. I'm never gonna be buying the diamond cards, uh, but I'm hopefully sooner or later gonna be having all the ones you earn from having entire sets. So patches, Zephyrus, Zola, this one, and now Shudder. What is this one for? You had to buy it, right? Yeah, purchasing it, um, I'm not interested in that, but all the other ones I'm going to try to have. All the ones you can actually earn through playing the game. Anyways, now with that being said, now we're going to go queue up the first game. Right, guys? Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right, first matchup, Warlock. Um, Harpoon Gun is really, really good, actually. Well, both of these hopefully get maybe a one drop here okay hmm. i believe i slammed this on one just because in case the top deck of um hyena it's really good the problem is slamming that on one the top deck of starving butter third then becomes really really bad um i also have a okay because i do that I feel fine just doing this. Uh, next time I go k Tron, he does the same thing again, unless he plays a minion, which I doubt he was going to. Yeah, so now it's K9. I should do this, but I'd rather do this here, I think. The 4 1 for free. Crackling Razor at the bottom is fairly interesting because I do have the Harpoon Gun in hand. So I can slam Harpoon Gun here. Hopefully have that be pretty solid. I either go Harpoon or I go Hyena here. For Harpoon. Protect my board. Buzzard is really good. Punch, punch, punch. Uh, so the reason I think Harpoon Gun here is slightly better is because I have the instrument tech, so I'm able to control the top of my deck fairly consistently. So it does help a lot. Um, that's fine. He's feeding my guy. Like here I can do like, actually I think this is probably the play. I'm a little bit worried for a Molten Giant. Uh, here's two zero cost dudes. Play this, try to play the game of protect this guy.
kind of tempted to just like yolo because if i hit like poisonous here it's pretty good but i'd rather hold off because next turn technically i can do this on this potentially hit wind fury if something dies or i can trade something in to make sure something dies for this it's not the card i want to hit There's no two mana board whips, right? No, there's no two mana. He could get like Whirlwind, which deals one damage to all of these guys, so both of these guys are active. I have lethal in that case, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I would have lethal if he does get like a Whirlwind effect. Uh. Like, the file is, like, worst case scenario. If he's holding the file, I'm probably screwed. Did you rehearse that? Don't break it. Oh. Shoot, this is beast. I'm an idiot. I completely forgot that this card was beast. Get the Tavish here. Yeah. All right. Oh, that was pretty good. Um, it would have been better if I didn't forget that that guy was uh, infused beast. But you know, all worked out. So let's queue up the next one and hopefully have it go just as well. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll see you guys all there. All right. This is so interesting in the deck. I kind of love it. I'm all like this. Even this, in case he goes an aggro start with like a one drop. It just deals with any one drop. Actually, no, wait. I started. Uh, starting, I should have kept the Shangle Heart. So I could have just traded it away, but. Oh, that's really good. I can answer any mini he plays now on one. And mean that the split on one gets killed by this. I think it kills all one and two drops in the game at the moment, besides like Ancient Watcher. Yeah, I figure this is what he'd be. Instrument tech would be very interesting. K9 Otron also very interesting. That would have been really good if I had not played uh, what I played on one. All right, I don't typically like taking slow starts against um, the deck he's playing. Questline Demon Hunter give very, very explosive games, uh, and it becomes very, very hard for the slower the deck that's playing a little bit slower to win. I have the advantage where if he just plays a minion here, I can trade into it with Harpoon Gun, protect both of my guys, hopefully put something like Alley Cat on top of my deck. Do a second one. You could have potentially made an argument for... You can also do this. Oh, I'd rather do this here. I know it seems weird wasting that damage there, but it's 1000% correct. I us take this. I can technically play it next turn, but it's not great to play next turn. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this solely because it's slightly better with this because I can protect the Starving Buzzard. Which I do really like. And I also get another two drop to draw next turn as well that cause zero with the K9 Ultron that I can potentially hit one drops. I'm just looking to basically fill my hand with cards so this way I can still go for the play I was looking at. I just don't have extra mana to hero power. So hopefully it doesn't have a second one. Or a glide. Punch my guy. Going face, interesting. Put this in the wrong order, no? That's an outcast card. I was supposed to attack first. That's really bad. I was hoping to hit stealth or divine shield. Uh, I threw by doing this. Ugh. I'll only get one draw instead of two here. No, I'm forced to take this. Oh, it's so bad, too, because if I would have this in hand, 
He's killing this this turn 100%. Uh, it just... Interesting. That's fine, depending on what I draw. Okay. Not ideal, but fairly interesting nonetheless. Alright. Draw three. That doesn't quite complete his quest. Is he have another piece of card draw? Oh, that is another piece of card draw, I guess. He got really lucky with that. Hitting two zero cost uh, outcast cards is really insane for him. Pretty sure I lost the game just off that. Man, and imagine if I would have drawn the three mana shade hound here. It'd be at two complete. Uh, I'm just dead here. Well, not dead, but I can't win the game anymore. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead. Oh well. I tried, I misplayed once, cost me the game, literally. are all awful. Uh, can I? Yeah, I don't even know if I can still win this game, if I'm being honest. I'd probably have to draw something like Hydralodon, or... It, it, I'd have to be Tavish into something. Even then, Tavish is not great here. Yeah, this is what I mean by that deck can kind of just steal a game. Um, not having an answer to the glaive. And then on top of them, him having the glide to go with it. If it wasn't glide as well, like if you only got to do one that turn, maybe there was a chance. But my draw has also just not been it this game. Like here I could have protected my health total by going pack meal, pack meal. But... If I would have done that, I'm pretty sure I also still just died, so... You know. Seeing the second consume magic is actually pretty good, but even then, like... Don't know how I beat this. I don't think I can. Yeah. The only way I'd ever win for this position is having Zephyrus, right? If I go in Zephyrus, destroy everything that has more than five attack, I won the game here. Maybe not one because, I mean, he still has Tony in his deck, but yeah, there's nothing to draw here, right? No, I, I know what I'm drawing. I'm drawing the Hyena. No, we had a really good draw. Without Glaive Tower or without Glide, I won the game, but with both, I couldn't win the game, sadly. Oh, uh, let's queue up the next one. Alright, um... Okay. I want to keep this. If I get a decent start, you know, draw, not fuck up this time with what's-his-face. Uh, this hand's actually pretty solid. Dirty rat me on t coin dirty rat pull this I win the game that'd be beautiful that's good for him to toss away because I do have weapons in my deck so I ain't mad about that one I don't want to play anything in my hand you also will now think I'm more of a controlly deck so. I'll save that for that later on. I have like the worst hand I've seen so far tonight, uh, right now. He's like Reno or some shit, so all the game damage means absolutely nothing. If he has a multi giant, I can seed here. Man, this is not it. Poisonous or plus three attack? Yo, I have not hit the plus three attack poisonous. Like, I hit poisonous last time when it did nothing. Now I want a poisonous or plus three attack, hit nothing. Like, this is awful. 
protect the hyena some amount. I was really hoping it poisonous, but with poisonous like this would have been sick, right? Oh, and he also has the broomstick. Are you for real? I fucking hate this game. I actually fucking hate this game. If he didn't have broomstick there, it was fine. Then he has Zilliax. I hate this game twice as much now. Uh, what is, what's a two health charge minion? Oh, he has a, what's his face? The one seven. Or Leviathan, coin Leviathan. I mean, bruh, what is this madness? You're not allowed to get this lucky while playing this game. It's not fair. Do you have the answer to this as well? At least Hydralodon survives. Okay. Consecrate. Consecrate is his best answer here, although he has to be worried about Consecrate because with the Tentra Rhino, depending what I have in hand, he could just die. So he needs to have an answer to Consecrate. Ah. That's so good for him. There's no better draw in his deck than that. A decent one drop. I hate this game. I wanted a decent one drop. I hate this game. Carol's so good, man. Carol's actually insane. What a nuts card here. The out of rush minions? No, there's no he's out of rush. No, he has the one seven still. Must be nice to hit perfect. Ah, okay. Oh. I'm gonna save this because I can hit something huge off this, right? That does deal five to my opponent's face. Punches me in the face, he takes two, this is five. He goes on to if he top decks Reno here, I am pissed. You try to keep yourself alive. My blade comes in. Punch me in the face, do it. I'm a god gamer. I'm a god gamer. I don't deserve that win. <laughs> I'm clearly too good. Like, straight up, clearly too fucking good.
That was insane sequence of draws and outcomes. Always suffer. I think last time I made a deck, I, I played a deck with Tavish. Like, I think it was recently I played the big version of this. And I think the video was titled something like Always Huffer or something like that. If not, that's what this one's being called because clearly always. Oh, I'm curious. Here. Oh, did I not call it? I know that the deck involved Huffer to a certain extent. Was it this video? Now I'm just wasting time. Uh, oh, was it this video? Yeah, it was the before. Yeah, the last Reno Hunter. Last time I played Reno Hunter. Always Huffer, man. That's this deck is. This video is gonna be called Always Huffer. Just, just always Huffer. Nothing else. <laughs> Anyways, so with that being said, let's um let's queue up the next game. Alright. Hmm. I like keeping this. This is the one I'm not sure if I should keep or not. I don't think so. I think it's slightly better to do this, but I'm not exactly sure. Okay. Oh, it's Hero Power Mage. I played that deck. This is actually probably the best start for him. This was such a nuts draw, actually. This is probably just hero power here. I'm trying to think what else that deck has. It has the draw secret. I want to save that for this. So I guess this is just the play. This, again, hitting stealth on this is nuts. Right, if I just give this stealth, all of a sudden, the game becomes so much easier. And I think I have to say fuck it, YOLO, and just go for it, right? Just go for it here. Plus three health is also really good. Stealth is beautiful. Now I get a full turn of it. With the K9. Insanely good. I also drew the instrument tech, which is fairly interesting. Means I could play that on five. Lego go instrument tech on five, Tavish on six. Hopefully, Shade Hound with some amount of creatures on seven. So this way, it's just like value type shit. The Siren Buzzard though is nuts. Again, he could have uh the guy who targets each opponent or each enemy with the uh, your hero power. Don't know if that could target stealth minions or not, but at this point, I'm pretty sure it can. Um, yeah, I guess I just you know, hope he doesn't have it. Because, I mean, that would be nuts here, right? Be beautiful. Okay. Go to the bottom of my deck. Nothing I want here. Give me a one drop, please. How do I miss on every one cost minion in the fucking game, man? I don't comprehend. The second time in a row I played double of these and there's no one cost minions at the bottom of my deck when there's one, two, three, four. I guess there's only four left in the deck. I thought there was a lot more, my bad. But still. Probably gonna play Tundra Rhino next turn just to develop it. Unless I keep my two threes on the battlefield, in which case it might just be Shade Hound. Trade into his guy, punch him in the face for eight, just so I have some amount of constant pressure. But at the same time, Shade Hound is another creature I want to try to protect as much as possible. Although with this in hand, right, I can just go this, this the turn after, this the turn after that, and then if they both die, just play this. Try to get a sneaky lethal that way. 
Actually, on seven, I want to develop this, so it's actually going to probably be this, this, maybe another one cost. Because this way, this can get charged and it's six damage, and that's really good. I can do this trade to force the hero power. Oh. Force the hero power on that. It's not something he necessarily wants to do, so this is why I think it's it's pretty good. Oh my god. I'm very tired right now. Things are starting to get hard to focus. Also, by the way, I don't think I said it yet, but I hope everybody has a beverage. I had me some lemonade, but I finished it right as we were getting into this game. And I'm a little bit sad about it, because I do wish I had more lemonade. I always wish I had more lemonade. Right now, he's debating if he should be... Uh, Go behind this or not. The answer is yes. He just drew the big boy. I can't think of his name. Oh, what's his name? Oh, he drew something. The 8-8. Eight, eight. Actually, on 7, a card I would love to play would be Hydralodon. If I draw Hydralodon here, I think I win the game. As long as I could survive till then. If he doesn't kill the sixth one, I mean, he's just dead next turn, basically. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Yeah, I just have lethal on board. Oh, it sucks that you want AFK, but. I'll take the dubs where I can. Yeah, I'll take the wins where I can. Pretty good. All right. I'm really happy with how that went. I'm very, very happy with how that went. Again, it's like C1 AFK. Um, but yeah, no, I'm I'm happy about that with how that went. We get I got a first place with Rakara. I'm gonna go show you my board. It was actually insane. I want to open a pack. You know what? We're opening a pack of Witchwood just because we're trying to get that Shutter Walk, you know? We hit that Legendary, you know? It's 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 value. There's Witchwood. There's Witchwood. I need the Diamond Shutter Walk. I need it in my life. Give me Shutter. Do it. Actually, I mean, I don't want Shutter, but, you know, give me a Legendary. There's actually a whole bunch of Epics I'm missing in this set. So, yeah. I'm only opening one, though. Sadly, no epics. Sadly, no legendaries. Oh, yeah. I want to show you the board. It was... It was actually insane. It should still be in my stats. Yeah, don't look at some of these. What, fifth, fourth. Man, this game, I was so sad. I lost a 3% chance, and I died here, and my board was, like, cracked. Here, I fought first place six rounds in a row. Here, I have no idea what the fuck I was doing. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have my... I guess I could show you this here. That was my Rakara board. I hit such an early uh, Anubarak, and it just carried. This game was insane. This game was... So there were no beasts in the lobby, but I... Um, I had the, the three one that busts everything in your shop. Oh, it was filthy. It was so good. Oh, man. I've actually been enjoying Battlegrounds so much lately. I don't... I'm not enjoying it more than Wild, I don't think. I It's, it's a different type of fun. I, I like... Battlegrounds is I turn kind of turn brain off and I just jam. Where wild I feel like I have to be a little bit more serious and a little bit more like I have to think a little bit more. And I don't know how I feel about that, but it's really fun. <laughs> I, I really like the new battlegrounds. If you have yet to try it, try it out, trust. It's it's worth it. Anyways though. With all that being said. Uh Beast Hunter. This deck is really strong, actually. Um if you guys are looking for a new aggro deck to play, I'd highly recommend this deck because it has the late game potential that a lot of aggro decks miss on due to cards like Hydralodon, the really good hero power from Tavish. Like, if you, I don't know how many of you guys were playing back in the day. Like, I'm talking about pre-OG Nex, right? Top decking? Uh, Animal Companion? It's called Animal Companion. I'm not forgetting the name of, like, yeah, Animal Companion. Top decking this card, late game, occasionally just won you the game. 
right? It's a, it occasionally just one you the game. All of a sudden, you top deck in every single get turn for only two mana. In the late game, when you're in top deck wars, there's no hero power that beats Summon Pet. Besides, like, I guess Jaraxxus or, you know, Gul'dan's. Even then, Gul'dan's doesn't really do it because Misha survives and so does Leoc. Uh, I'm trying to think what other hero powers have a chance at dealing, like, are slightly better than this. Oh, Frostlich Janus is nuts. So it's like Anduin's, but like this one is really, really good. Um, because just because it's two mana, so you could also play whatever card you draw. It's like mental. Like I was comparing that to uh, the other, uh, this one. This one is so much better. But yeah, no, this deck is really, really good. Would highly recommend it. Anyways, with all that being said, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one, where hopefully we get some more dubs. All right, guys, yeah, I'll see you guys all there. Peace.